Once a hole has been created, a secondary operation is often performed, such as tapping, counterboring, countersinking, or spot facing. Tapping is the addition of an internal thread and requires a hole drilled to the proper size. Countersinks, as discussed earlier, can be created from a spot drill or special countersink tools. Countersinks are often called chamfers and they allow easier assembly of mating parts or the head of the fastener to sit below the surface of a part. Spot faces are typically used on uneven surfaces, such as a casting, and allow a washer or the head of a fastener to sit flush against the surface of the part. Counterbores are clearance holes made with a counterbore tool, as shown here. And this hole allows the head of the fastener to sit below the surface of the part. When a tight diameter tolerance, such as that for a dowel pin, is required, it is often drilled 1 to 1 of an inch smaller than the final size, and then a reamer is used to bring the hole to its final size. If the positional tolerance is also tight for the hole, then it will typically be bored with an offset boring head after drilling and prior to reaming. In some cases, when the hole is a non-standard size, the offset boring head will be used to bring the hole to its final diameter. When the reamer cannot obtain the required surface finish, the hole can be honed or burnished to the desired surface finish. These operations will remove minimal amount of material, typically two to three ten thousandths of an inch. All of these secondary operations require a properly pre-drilled hole. Next we will examine the tooling required to open up cast or forged holes.